it's Drea, aka Clueless Mama D, for another Walt Disney Wednesday Takeover. And today, thank you so much for having me again. And guys, I have another super awesome, super affordable, and super adorable DIY. You don't want to miss this super pretty Halloween Cinderella pumpkin carriage. I loved making this, guys, and I know you guys are going to love it too. If you haven't been to my channel, I do mummy lifestyle and last videos. So please, if you like this video or you like this cheesy joke I'm about to share with you, then pop over to my channel after this video and subscribe and hit the bell so we can keep in touch. Why is Cinderella no good at playing soccer? Do the words I love you never come to your mind? Because she's always running away from the ball. <laughs> Let's get to the tutorial right now. Pick up a good size crafting pumpkin. I got this one at Michael's using my coupon, of course. And I got these four little ones from the dollar store. And some of these wooden dowels. Spray paint. If you can't find a blue pumpkin, you're going to want blue spray paint as well. And some glitter paper. And glue gun. What's a craft without a glue gun? Some gold wire I used and some embellishments I picked up at the dollar store, including jewelry. But there was tons of selection of these at my dollar store, so you can have fun. First thing I did was figure out where I'm going to be placing the wooden dolls to hold up the pumpkin carriage. And once I did that, I just got a marker and made some lines. I'm going to go about halfway through the small pumpkins. Now, if you had some wire cutters or thinner dowels, it would be easy. It was a bit of a struggle, but this is what I ended up cutting. And then I took the little stems out of the mini pumpkins and spray painted them silver because those are going to be our carriage wheels. And the dowels as well. Now, originally I picked up this sticker foamy thing from the dollar store and I was going to have Cinderella sort of peeking through the door. And so that's why I'm tracing a door on this. This is the stick-on glare paper. But ultimately, I decided that, you know, she was just a little bit too small for the carriage. You could definitely do this if you found a better proportion Cinderella than I was able to find. You could have her kind of peeking through a window or something like that. Then I took these beads I picked up from the dollar store you know those kind of party beads and I just glued them around the egg, I mean door. <laughs> and just to have some nice gold trimming. So let me know, for those of you who celebrate Halloween, what was the best costume you ever wore? Do you have a childhood memory? Or are you a child right now watching? Comment below. So after doing that, I took the gold wire and I was going to make the C for Cinderella. I'm sure you can figure out other things to do this that you might even have at home if you have gold ribbon or whatnot. And then I just glued it on. Then I took the same beads that I used earlier and glued them around the stem. In hindsight, I probably would spray paint the top of this because you can see through a little bit. Maybe just spray paint it with the silver so it looks nice if there's any gaps. But it was good enough. I really love these little stick-on jewels that I found and they're perfect for going in the seams of the pumpkin. In some places I didn't go in the seam, I just made a new one with the jewelry just because I thought it was better placing. But you're just going to go around the pumpkin and I used a little glue even though they are stick-on jewels. Isn't it pretty? Then I again figured out my dowels. If you're really good and accurate as I should be, you would, you know, get out a ruler and make sure everything's even, but I just kind of eyeball things. Um, <laughs> so they're probably not as even as they should be. And then I just hot glued them together, but I was afraid it wasn't sturdy enough. So I took that gold wire and wrapped it a bunch of times around each section that joined together and then tied them so that I wouldn't have troubles with them coming loose just in case the glue didn't hold up. 
If you guys haven't subscribed already to Auntie Tay's channel, whose channel I am so happy to be a visitor on, make sure you go ahead and do that right now. She has an awesome channel. She does even live crafts. You will love hanging out with Auntie Tay. And yeah, then I just stuck the edges of the dowels into the small pumpkins. So yeah, I should add, make sure that the small pumpkins are a pumpkin that you can stick something through. I don't know what the material is. It's like styrofoam, but I think it's something else. Comment below if you know. And there you go, Cinderella's carriage made out of pumpkin. Perfect if you want to put it in your doorstep or even in your child's room around Halloween time. And especially if you have Cinderella, it would be so cute to have her beside it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you come visit me and say hi on my channel in the comments. Mwah.